Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the round table. 欢迎回到 Jerry 英语圆桌。听说了吗？前一阵子苹果故意把老板 iPhone 变慢，逼你买新电话的消息有下文了。我就愿意看这种牛叉闪闪的大公司倒霉的热闹。您也搬把椅子，一起来吃瓜吧。Apple Inc. has agreed to pay up to five hundred million dollars to settle litigation, accusing it of quietly slowing down older iPhones as it launched new models to induce owners to buy replacement phones or batteries. The preliminary proposed class action settlement was disclosed on Friday night and requires approval by U.S. District Judge Edward Davila in San Jose, California. It calls for Apple to pay consumers $25 per iPhone, which may be adjusted up or down depending on how many iPhones are eligible. With a minimum total payout of $310 million, Apple denied wrongdoing and settled the nationwide case to avoid the burdens and costs of litigation. Court papers show. All right, let's first of all familiarize ourselves with some of these important words and phrases in this message. And here comes the first word of the day: settle, settle, settle. 有落下或者沉降的意思。在这一则消息当中呢，有解决分歧或者纠纷的意思。To put an end to an argument or disagreement. 我们来看例句。Every effort was made to settle this dispute. 我们用尽了一切努力来解决争端。下一个单词 ，litigation。litigation。litigation 是诉讼 ，the process of making or defending a claim in court。在这个句子当中啊 ，Apple 已经同意了要赔付最高五亿美元来 settle， 就是解决这个 litigation。下一个单词 ，accuse。accuse。Accuse 是控告或者控诉。To say that somebody has done something wrong or is guilty of something. 在这里呢 ，accuse 是对前面这个 litigation 做说明来的。这个 litigation 说的是苹果公司悄悄地把自己以前的手机机型变慢，从而迫使用户不得不买它的新手机。一起来看一个例词 ：She accused me of stealing her wallet. 她指责我偷了她的钱包，但真的不是我偷的。Now let's look at the next word of the day. Launch, launch, launch. Launch 这个词是发射或者发行，还有上市的意思。Here it means to make a product available to the public for the first time. 一块来看例句。Huawei will launch its newest flagship smartphone in March. Huawei 将于三月份推出其最新的旗舰智能手机。Here comes the next word of the day: induce. Induce. Induce 是劝说或者诱使 to persuade or influence somebody to do something. 我们一块来看例句 Nothing would induce me to take the job. 没有什么能诱使我接受这份工作。我们继续往下看下一个单词 propose. Propose. Propose 有提议或者建议的意思 ，to suggest a plan, an idea for people to think about and decide on. 文中用到的是过去式 proposed， 这是被建议的、被提议的，在这里做形容词。我们继续往下看 ，class action, class action, class action, also known as a class action lawsuit, class suit, or representative action. 就是中文集体诉讼的意思。It is a type of lawsuit where one of the parties is a group of people who are represented collectively by a member of that group. The next important word you need to know is settlement. Settlement. Settlement 这个词有定居点或者解决的意思，在文中做协议讲。It is an official agreement that ends an argument between two people or groups. 学会了这些单词，原文中的这一段 ，the preliminary proposed class action settlement 就好理解了。在这里啊 ，preliminary 和后面的 proposed 一起做形容词来形容这个 class action settlement， 意思是初步提议的这个集体诉讼和解方案。原文下面半句，这个 it calls for Apple to pay consumers twenty five dollars per iPhone 中的 it 指的就是这个 preliminary proposed class action settlement 初步和解方案。Next word, eligible, eligible, 
eligible 是合适的或者符合条件的。Having the right to do or obtain something, satisfying the appropriate conditions. Now let's look at the last important word of the day: wrongdoing. Wrongdoing. Wrongdoing 明显是两个单词合在一块儿组成的一个新单词，意思是不法行为、坏事情 ，illegal or dishonest behavior. 这里呢 ，Apple 否认 wrongdoing， 但是仍然赔了钱。嗯，有意思。有句话叫什么来着了？做做啥心啥来着呢？用了这么多年，苹果终于要见着回头钱了。兴奋的我马上开始查找如何收这笔钱。不查还好。一查案，心都凉了。果然，美国法庭的判决只管美国的 iPhone 用户。那我们怎么办？要不咱也攒点人告苹果去吧？这么着，您先起个头，告诉我一声，我肯定积极给您助威哈。好，今天的 Jerry 英语圆桌就到这里。Have a good one, and I'll catch you later.